Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and Deadpool 3 has an official first look from set photos from the film's production near Pinewood Studios in the UK, and there's so much to take away from Ryan Reynolds' new costume and other visual clues from these images, so let's break down the latest updates from Deadpool 3 and his coming team up with Wolverine and the X-Men. By the way, New Rockstars is now a network with three channels. This main channel for Easter egg breakdowns, the deep dive for special film analyses from me, and the break room where you can find our Secret Invasion after show inside Marvel. Subscribe to all three and support our network with some merch from nerdriot.shop. This morning, Hugh Jackman finally revealed images of himself in his new yellow suit alongside Deadpool. Shortly after the film's official account released a high-res version of the image and it looks so good. Finally, a comic accurate yellow suit that the 2000 X-Men movie mocked. You actually go outside and these things? What would you prefer, yellow spandex? Now we still have not seen Wolverine's mask and this suit has sleeves. And based off of how jacked Jackman is getting for this movie, you just know Wolverine's gonna get some mockery for this and use those adamantium claws to shred these sleeves off. Deadpool 3 is currently in the midst of production in the UK, a second unit production set to take place in Vancouver in Canada. Production is moving swiftly, likely due to the threat of the actors union going on strike along with the Writers Guild. The negotiation deadline for the actors pushed to July 12th. But I will remind everyone that Ryan Reynolds and his crew shot the first Deadpool film in 2016 in less than eight weeks. So these guys like to work fast, and they'll likely move even faster since, due to the writer's strike, Ryan Reynolds is not allowed to ad-lib or to improvise because that would constitute writing, and they may plan to do ADR pickup lines for this third movie later, after the writer's strike comes to an end, hopefully with a better deal for the writers, and since Deadpool is often masked, with his mouth covered, audio pickups and punch-ups would be especially easy. Now, on Friday, The Hollywood Reporter confirmed that Jennifer Garner is returning to play Elektra in Deadpool 3, seemingly confirming many of the other surprise returns from the Fox Marvel era that we have been hearing about. In another video recently, I broke down all the rumors of the cast in this movie, which may include Halle Berry returning as Storm, Patrick Stewart returning as Professor X, Ben Affleck returning as Daredevil, James Marsden, Ian McKellen, Famke Jansen, and others from the Fox Marvel titles in the 2000s, Owen Wilson has been spotted in London where the movie is shooting, and there are even rumors of Channing Tatum shooting a cameo as Gambit. For now, take all these rumors with a grain of salt, but a plot that involves the Time Variance Authority from Loki suggests multiple timelines and alternate realities, and Marvel moved up this movie's release date to May 3rd, 2024, while pushing all other movies back, so it's increasingly looking like Kevin Feige sees it as an essential moneymaker. The latest rumors are that Matthew McFadden will be playing the TVA agent named Paradox, and that Emma Corrin, confirmed to be playing a villain in this movie, will be a TVA judge with a rank and role similar to Justice Renslayer. With Loki Season 2 coming to Disney Plus this October, and a trailer likely to drop any day now, there's a good chance we meet these characters in Loki Season 2. But when you look at these set photos, the first thing that jumps out is a more vibrant color of Ryan Reynolds' new Deadpool suit. The 2016 and 2018 film, by comparison, heavily desaturated Deadpool for a dustier, dirtier look, befitting his rebellious nature and his R-rated humor. Do you need energy? Do you need it now? That's a job for one shot. One Shot Energy Chews are a healthy and convenient energy boosting supplement candy for gamers, athletes, YouTube hosts, everybody really. One Shot makes energy chews and focus chews so that you can choose if you want to rev up or zone in. Each energy chew has 75 milligrams of pure caffeine plus 600 milligrams of additional nootropics that give you a serious energy boost that works immediately as you chew. The focus chews come in new Rockstars themed packaging. We use them all the time to get a natural boost of focus and energy with B, C, D, and E vitamins plus zinc to help with immune system support and the amino acid tyrosine. Both energy chews and focus chews are plant-based, naturally sweetened, and designed to give you the energy and focus you need without a bunch of fillers and chemicals. Get started with One Shot Energy today by going to oneshotenergy.com slash new rockstars for 10% off your order. Now, these are just photos taken of the actor on set. Who knows what it will look like in the trailer footage and in the final film after it's gone through coloring. And to be clear, Dopender actor Karen Sony has been shooting his scenes and he confirmed Deadpool 3's humor and violence haven't been toned down at all, and that this third film will still be very much R-rated. But it is possible that this new suit has pumped up its vibrance and saturation to make it look especially good on screen opposite from a yellow suit, furthering the speculation that Wolverine in this movie will suit up in his classic yellow and black suit, like the one that we've seen in those Wolverine 3 teaser photos that never ended up getting used. This prop was created by James Mangold and shot for a deleted scene for the 2013 The Wolverine as a bit of fan service in case the studio wanted to suit up Wolverine that way for the next film. 
this was long before Mangold refocused that next film into the 2017 Logan film, which was, of course, a somber western in the style of Unforgiven. Directors Sean Levy and Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman and James Mangold have all suggested that Deadpool 3 will not touch the events of the 2017 Logan film or change Logan's death in that film at all, but we will see what that promise means exactly. Like, Deadpool 3 could visit an alternate timeline death of Wolverine, set in a similar setting, as a different Wolverine is helping some kids rush across the Canadian border to deliver them to the members of the Alpha Flight or something like that. I bring it up because these set photos depict a scene in a woodland setting with a forest floor similar to that final battle in Logan, and there have been unconfirmed reports of a chase scene with Deadpool and multiple TVA agents in the forest. There have also been unconfirmed rumors and theories that this movie will take place in an alternate House of M style universe, with Elizabeth Olsen coming back as the Scarlet Witch and mutant kind led by a victorious Ian McKellen Magneto and Wolverine leading a mutant resistance group. We'll see, but it could be one of many Fox Marvel timelines that we see in Deadpool 3. Other than the vibrancy, the suit does look mostly the same, especially in the shots where Reynolds is wearing his utility belt. Like the fabric is less segmented, less marred by cuts and bullet holes, but it has the same black shoulder pads and straps. One difference is that rather than the black buckles on the straps, there are hints of brass clips matching the gold color now on his gloves. Many are also focusing on the mystery figure sitting in the back seat of this van with an unusual red helmet and mask. Before you jump to any conclusions that this is a Magneto helmet or a Scarlet Witch headgear, I think this is just the Deadpool mask with the eyepieces removed, and this may be Ryan Reynolds' stunt double. While they have a practical version of the Deadpool mask with the black eyepieces and the white eyes, for close-ups they often do subtle VFX on Deadpool's eyes to animate them so that they're more emotive, kind of like a Bugs Bunny style cartoon. But I want to know from you, would you like to see Deadpool and Deadpool 3 revisit the alternate timeline events of the ending of Logan, but with Wolverine in an alternate yellow suit, or should Deadpool steer clear of any version of that final battle because it is sacred? Let me know in the comments below, and support us with a shirt like our Secret Invasion inspired shirts at nerdriot.shop. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Boss. Follow New Rockstars and subscribe to New Rockstars for more analysis of everything you love. Thanks for watching. Bye.